Uh, this is Terrence Gangster Williams, a.k.a. OG Giggity, a.k.a. Mr. Asser right back, a.k.a. The People's Champ, Terrence of Williams. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. We're here to talk about Rick Ross and D1, the rapper D1. Wait, 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 wait. The little dude with Rick Ross. Look, let me, look, this is what Rick Ross said. Check it out. Meek Mill, you could do better. Jim Jones, you could do better. Rick Raw, you could do better. I got to see you do better. Wait, wait. Little man, whoever you is, until you feed the kids where you from for 20 years straight. Now, check this out. Don't question Rose. Rick Address D1. D1 is a conscious rapper. School teacher. Help the community out. He do what he can. So he spoke out on how the rappers rapping about violence, bringing the community down instead of uplifting them. Now let me say this. I like Rick Ross music. Oh, um, I like to listen to that kind of stuff. Oh, but anyway, um, and Rick Ross has made some nice hits. D1 felt the need to speak out because he had a voice. The thing about what Rick Ross said that grabbed my attention First, he called himself making a mockery of D1 voice. So it made me think, like, okay, I'm from the NO, so he making fun of how we talk? Because I know he ain't trying to go there. Then I was like, well, grab my tits when he said, little dude, little, he kept addressing him, letting him know, like, you a little boy, like, you little, you under me, right? But then I thought about it. You addressing him as little. Little this, little dude, little dude. But yet, the little dude got your attention. <laughs> Mission accomplished. That's what he wanted. Reach up to the big dudes. Yo, check this out. And you heard him. He got your message. You shot back. <laughs> Help him out. So now you throw him out of who? That's what you did. That what you did, Rick Ross. You threw him out of the hoop. So now Younger got a chance to do what he got to do because he spread positive messages. We get that. We respect that. He from the N.O. That's the homie. Um, I like that he reached out to them children. He's trying to show them, you know what? You can try to do something, uh, rap, whatever. Go this route. Now, let me say this. That don't, that, don't, that, don't, that don't go for everybody. Everybody can't do that. You ain't going to make no money. I get that. And I get what he's saying, because here's the thing. While I love to listen to that kind of music, I understand the children are listening. As my understanding, Ross, you do a lot. And I'm not trying to take that from you, downplay none of that. You do a lot. You show a lot of love, because you have some money. So you're supposed to do that. Give back to the community. But he got a voice, and he got a right to speak out how he want to speak out. Just like you shot back. When you shot back, you threw him there out of hoop because at the end of the day, you acknowledged him, the little dude. You know, so I was like, wow. The little homie mission accomplished. And I can relate to him being the little dude because I come from there. When I first started out on this internet, I was the little dude. Now I'm stepping with the big dogs. Wow. Anyway, but when I see stuff like this, I'm like, oh no, I gotta speak, I gotta say something about this because here's the thing. At the end of the day, we all say we wanna help the children. We all say um, we wanna give back. I look at this. If it wasn't for your music or you doing what you do, Rick Ross, then you wouldn't be able to give back, help the children. So I get that. You you doing what you're doing, but you still giving back. D1 spoke out, you know, he felt like, yeah, you doing, you could change that. I, I can't see you trying to rap conscious. That, that, that ain't nobody gonna listen to you, bro. It's over with for you. You gonna have that house over sale, you do that. You gonna have to sell that thing real cheap if you go to try to do that. People have tried it, it didn't work. I, and I don't wanna name a few. I was about to name a few who tried to go from hardcore gangster rap to try to do that positive rap. Talking about the Bible, talking about the law, and people didn't buy. They weren't buying because they were used to that the hardcore rap, 
you know what I'm saying, what, 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 what the people like to listen to. So they didn't want to go for that. I get that. But the thing is, when you answer back to the little dudes, you help it out. So now people go, who is this guy? D1 he talk about. Let me go check him out. Oh, and he can rap, and he can spit. Oh man, yeah, he gone, he's on his thing. That's what's up. Gotta thank some time, Ross. Gotta thank cause you, but then again, no, you did say I'm gonna help you go viral, little homie, little dude, little dude. Yeah, you kept stressing. You say you gonna help him go viral. You said that now. Your man ain't word now. You said that. So now the message got across. But I just think that, man, y'all need to come together and talk about this, put it together. But that's a situation where a lot of people who on some positive stuff, they're going to speak. And the people who like music in general, they're going to speak. But that's something, boy, that's like a subject where you like, man. Because, you know, a lot of people say the rap music is destroying the community. But, and the same one who would say that, you'll catch them. Or you'll catch them rapping to the song and they call something. You tell me destroy the community, but you a rap child, you know. So I get that. But the thing is, Ross, don't make fun of how you talk. Because when you do that, you dissing the whole new all in. That's what you're doing. And I know you might not care. But at the end of the day, you come from that city. That's the little homie. I, I respect what he's doing. I like what he's doing. I support what he's doing. That's just what it is. Um, y'all know my motto though. Let's say no to drugs, stop the violence, Let's put the guns down. Make sure y'all get tested for HIV and AIDS because y'all need to know y'all status. That is very important. I got the nonprofit, they need us, the Instagram, they need us, Third Ward. The movie, the boys at war. And you remember I told y'all I had a surprise? I'm doing my reality show. It's called Life After the Feds. And I'm about to give y'all a little sneak peek. Because I just wrapped up the, uh, what do you call it, the, the pilot, the trailer, well, not the trailer, the pilot. The little first little part, I just wrapped that up. That's ready to go. Well, it ain't ready to go. I got to edit, can't edit, got to do it. But I'm going to let y'all check it out. Let y'all check out what, we, what we're doing. I knocked that out today. So I'm going to let y'all check it out. Give y'all a little peek what I got going on. Just be cool. Just be cool, man. Chill out. Why they around here hating on OG Giggity? OG Giggity out here making other moves. So, <laughs> catch up, play bar. Uh -huh. You know, y'all know y'all see Birdman doing this here? He rubbing hands like Birdman. I'm about to get this money, baby. Thank y'all for all the support. You must have exercised downtown while you was in prison. What you mean exercise? Girl, I ain't exercise. So what? What's wrong with me? I'm going exercise. You just got a lot of weight on you. I was eating. Walk. Let the people walk. Go ahead and walk with it. Wait, wait, wait. Go ahead and walk with it. There she go. There she go. Y'all see her. Yeah, we on the set, baby. We on the set. What's going down? I told y'all I had a surprise, y'all. Look. Look where I'm at. Look where I'm at. I'm on the scene, y'all. Look, look, look. Look, look. Hey, y'all. Yeah, you gonna be right there. See the people? Look at that. See the people? It's going down, y'all. No leg. Look at that. Let's tell you you're getting done. We're on the set. Makeup lady. Hold on, hit the pose again. You should have went in that cell, man. Yeah, it's going down. This is where I'm going. They won't let me. I. They thought I was playing. Look, we on the set. Twenty three years, four months. You did. I'll ask you some pictures. You heard me. Install. What you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? That baby don't pull up. I'm gonna be home soon. You know they counting me out. I'm out, chill. Yeah. 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 Yeah.